A pollinator plot is an area that's seeded or just grows naturally. Things like native grasses and wildflowers that bees and butterflies come to to get nectar and to pollinate things. We got the idea uh, to do pollinator plots based on conferences that we'd been to and talking about the decrease in pollinator habitat. Before I learned about this, I really didn't have a vested interest in pollinators and why should I care, right? But I found out that pollinators account for one third of the items in our grocery store. Store, things that need to be pollinated and when you think about that uh, that could impact us greatly. We decided we had several acres available to do this sort of pilot project. Four acres here at the solar farm and six acres at Blackman Water Treatment Plant that we are currently preparing for seeding. More importantly what we we're wanting was to establish these types of pollinator areas in our energy right-of-ways. Uh, gas, water, electric, uh, transmission lines where typically we've always just mowed these areas. If we just herbicide treat the brush that's in these areas it gives gives the native grass and wildflowers a chance to grow. The benefits that we can see from this in the long run as we convert these areas, right now we've got uh, 10 acres slated to convert. That'll be 10 acres that won't be mowed. We currently each spend about $125,000 to $130,000 a year mowing those transmission lines. This past year, we uh, herbicide treated our transmission lines and several distribution locations on our system for $30,000. So that was a huge cost benefit and it'll be beneficial to the wildlife and pollinators and butterflies and things and we can expand this area to other places and city utilities too that are currently being mowed and maintained on a weekly basis. We have a pollinator garden that we planted out here at the platform viewing area to teach kids about pollinators and about the decline in habitat for that and as I was out here looking at it one day there was a monarch caterpillar on one of the milkweeds that we had planted there. So I got in touch with someone with the master naturalist, they gave us some chrysalises. So we actually hatched a butterfly this fall and it's uh, pretty exciting to see it. We're really looking to see something good on the third year because it just takes time to get established that type of habitat. But once it is established, it's native. So it doesn't need to really be watered. It's native to this area. It sustains itself. It's pretty maintenance free. So it's a very good thing for the bees and butterflies and it's easy to maintain. We're really excited about what's gonna happen in the future.